you're over the edge of the Brago Ranch now, Dory. We'll reach the infested area in about two minutes. Unless Borrego shoots us down. Yes, he's mad enough to try, isn't he? I've never been on this frame job yet, friend. If someone hasn't tried to give us a bad time. I think that way we're doing it for their good, too, wouldn't you? Sure would. Helicopter two, this is helicopter one. Come in, please. Helicopter two, come in, Corey. We reached the west boundary of the infested area. Start marking treetops according to plan A. I'll spot for you. Ten four. Helicopter two clear. If the weather holds, we'll start spraying tomorrow. That's good. Mark. lost over a million board feet already. If we don't stop those budworms, we could lose the whole forest. Fly due north for 15 seconds. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Borrego. Yes, but we... Well, we... Borrego's on the phone, Corey, threatening an injunction if we don't call off the spraying. Mr. Borrego, this is Corey Stewart. Stewart, I'm going to take legal action if you try to spray that timber near my range. We either spray it or lose it, Mr. Borrego. Now, what about the stock I might lose? Do you people ever give a thought to that? Certainly. But believe me, there's absolutely no danger of killing anything but spruce budworms. Your opinion and a dime will buy me a cup of coffee. This talk is getting both of us nowhere. Let me show you. How? Can you meet me on the upper range with an extra horse? I'm sure I can, but why? I said I'd show you. Now give me a chance. All right. Well, let's hope his bark is worse than this bite. Come on, Lassie. Come on, get in here. Corey? That's smart, taking Lassie. What? Well, in case you're wrong about Borrego, Lassie can fight back.
Go on, Lassie, get acquainted. <laughs> That's how most animals get along right away, isn't it? And they're classified, too, Stuart, as uh, dumb animals, right? That's your classification, not mine. Looks like we don't agree on anything. Up until now. Come on, I want to show you something. We've staked out over 100 of these. Ground crews will test them immediately after the spraying. After the spraying might be too late. You talk as though this was the first infected forest that we've ever sprayed. Well, it's the first time you've ever sprayed one near my range. What is it you want, Mr. Borrego? A ghost forest here? No camping, no wildlife? And that's exactly what you're going to have if we don't spray. Those budworms won't stop until they reach the coast. And on the way, they'll destroy enough timber to build a million homes. I like the way you talk. I like what you say. It, uh, it sounds straight. It is. It better be. Something else you ought to know about me, Mr. Borrego. What's that? I don't like being threatened. I didn't ask you to like it. And if any of my stock is harmed, I'm gonna nail you and your forest service right to the wall. Come on, lassie. Come on, girl. Did you have fun, girl? Hardly any breeze. Perfect day for spraying. Copters are loaded and ready to go. Well, let's get started. Let's go. Warm up the copter, Ray. I'll be right there. Okay, Chief. I'll coordinate the ground communications. Be in touch with you throughout the day. Come on, Lassie.
Helicopter one, this is control. Helicopter one, come in, Carl. Corey, suspend operations immediately. What's wrong? One of Borrego's horses is dead. We're on our way. Helicopter one, clear. All units, this is Helicopter one. Return to operations field immediately. Repeat, return to field immediately. Spray didn't kill that horse. You? Guarantee? We both do, Mr. Borrego. Let me guarantee you something. You just bought yourself a pack of trouble. My vet's doing tests right now. And as soon as I get the results of those tests, I'll have all the proof I need to hang you and the Forest Service out to dry. He's wrong, Corey, but he's got the ammunition to hurt us. Well, we're not going to wait for him to take the first shot. What do you mean? We'll get the results of our own tests. Then if it's a fight he wants, then a fight he gets. Come on, Lassie. I think she's looking for a little cold she met the other day. Go ahead, Lassie. Go find your friend. How about taking some samples here? Well, that's as good a place as any. This couldn't even make a lizard sick, much less a horse. Let's get some more samples over here. Okay.
call the shots at the beginning, Stuart. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Quiet, Lassie. <laughs> Quiet, Lassie. Look, Mr. Borrego, we're going to take these samples to the lab and have them tested. We're going to prove you're wrong. Carl here is our leading entomologist in the Forest Service. It was under his recommendation we use this particular spray on these trees. Lassie, be quiet. Come on, Carl, let's go. Come on, Lassie. Get in here. Tell me that spraying had nothing to do with this. It just can't be. poisonous plants an animal can eat, and particularly dangerous to horses. Yes, I, I know. You any Fowler solution back at the ranch house? Yes. Better get this colt back there. Maybe able to save him yet. Carl, take Mr. Brago back to the ranch house. Take the truck and bring a van back. We'll do everything we can for this little fella. The vet's on his way out. You, uh, you were right. Local wheat killed that horse. You better quarantine all your horses. Get them all into a fenced area until you clear that weed off your land. All right. How's it cold? We did all we could. Now it's just a matter of time. sure of it. Just an opinion, Mr. Borrego. From a dumb animal. No. No, I, uh, I'm the dumb animal. But I'm learning. Thanks. Mind if we get back to work? We've got a lot of spraying to do. Be my guest. Thanks, Lassie. 